Hi, I'm James with FPS General. I'm here with Ted Lang of Reverb Publishing, and you are the executive producer of Sanctum 2. Were you, were you the executive producer of Sanctum 1? Um, no, I was not. Well, it's okay, because the second time around you are. Yes, exactly, and twice is better. All right, can you tell us about Sanctum and what it is for those, those of us at home who haven't really played the first one? Yeah, so Sanctum is um, the first and really only tower defense FPS hybrid. It's actually taking everything that you know about a tower defense game, and everything you love about first person shooters, and really just combining them to all the gloriousness that you can imagine. Awesome. So, what can people look forward to, you know, as far as improvements with the second game? Um, more levels, more characters, a, a perk system, more unlocks, some um, towers and guns and. I mean, everything that you're familiar with with Sanctum 1 has been upgraded, improved upon um, visual effects, uh, lighting and shadows. You'll really notice that it's not the same game that you played, but it'll feel just as familiar. Very cool. And it's, it's co-op, yes? Yes, four-player co-op online. Uh, you'll really be able to each person customize their own loadout to really strategize and come up with the best possible solutions to each map. And you're really going to need to do that because some of these challenges are insane. So it kind of harkens back to, I think, tower defense kind of all started with Warcraft 3 mods and, and building a maze of, of walls so you're having the enemies, you know, run the maximum distance traveled and take turret fire the whole time. That's kind of... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely going to be that um, different strategies you can do. I mean, that's, that's the strategy I do. I've seen people that it more just corral them all into one location and really get in there because mm -hmm. the nice thing is it being a first person shooter as well as if you want to just corral them into one area and get in there, guns are blazing, right. by all means, do it. You don't just have to stand back. You can really get in their face with a, a shotgun or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so can you talk to us about the variety of weapons that we see in the game? Um, your average assault rifle to shotguns to sniper rifles to even a portable Tesla cannon. Oh. If anybody's familiar with what a Tesla coil is, it shoots lightning. So you've got lightning in your hands. That's that's pretty awesome. Yeah. How exactly. many how many levels are we looking at at launch? Um, Sixteen levels right now. That's spread over four different worlds. Uh, has a, its own complete narrative narrative throughout the whole campaign. So you actually, it adds another element of story that wasn't previously in Sanctum One. Awesome. And uh, are we looking forward to DLC in the future? Is there any plans for DLC at this point? Oh yes, definitely. I mean, DLC has been not only just in the plans, but it's written kind of um, envisioned through the whole campaign. I mean, similar to Sanctum One had a big DLC campaign. This is a little bit more focused where it's not just going to be new maps and new things, it's going to be actually adding on to the pre-existing campaign. Cool, awesome. Is there, are there any plans to, to let users generate their own levels in some way? Uh, not at this point, but it's definitely something that we'd be looking into. Okay, very cool. And uh, I guess we're looking forward to seeing everything that, that comes with Sanctum 2 in all of its glory. And when can we see Sanctum 2 in all its glory? What, what date? Um, no set date right now, but we're looking at spring, and that's for XBLA, PSN, and Steam, all simultaneous. So, Well, great. We're looking forward to it. Ted, thank you so much. Thanks.